Wedding uni weather. Hello there. It, well, it's been a very unsettled last 24 hours across the Reading area. We've seen the first rainfall we've had for some time. And as we go through the next few days, that theme is going to be sticking with us with some rain at times, but we also will still see some brighter spells. So looking ahead to the forecast then, this is our jet stream forecast, and this is the responsibility of all the weather systems we've had coming through today. So as we go through the rest of the week, we see that jet stream still riding through the Atlantic over the UK, and will bring bouts with it further and subtle weather, particularly to north and western parts of the country. So looking in more detail then into, into, the, into, into the weather for today, and we can see we've got a lipper system to the north of the UK, quite a deep one as well, bringing with it some quite strong winds, but we've also got this cold front swinging its way southeastwards, and that will bring some patchy rain to all parts of the country, especially the Reading area as well. But as we go through the afternoon, that cold front's going to clear off the scene, and that will introduce some more drier, brighter weather. So again, looking at the UK in, in, as a whole, we've got some patchy light rain which result from many central and southern parts of the country on Thursday so it will be a wet start for Reading especially if you're going to lectures. Um, a spare thought for Scotland where it's going to be very very windy here with the risk of some gales in some areas and some very heavy showers being bl blown in on that very blustery wind especially across the western parts. But during the afternoon it's an improving picture for everybody really. With our cough run out of the way we're going to start to see the winds dying down in Scotland maybe one or two showers but staying mostly dry. For southern parts we will see again Largely dry, largely dry, bright weather with some much lighter winds, so it feels much more pleasant um, than it will do during the morning. Temperatures remaining fairly average for the time of year, really 13 to 14 degrees for many parts, obviously a tad cooler across northern parts of Scotland. So, looking ahead to the all important weekend, well, this is a surface pressure analysis chart. So, here we can see we've got ridge of high pressure to the south of the UK and up to the northwest. So, if I run it through for the weekend, we see a low pressure system very briefly squeezing its way through during the course of Saturday which will bring some rain to us. However, notice high pressure is never too far away, ridging in from the southeast, south southwest even, bringing with it some settled conditions as we go through the latter stages of the weekend. But low pressure of course is never too far away. So the next few days then, well looking ahead, Friday remains rather cloudy and dry. Saturday of course that rain's coming through for that very weak low pressure system pushing through, but that high pressure ridging in behind it bringing a largely settled weather during the remainder of Sunday and into Monday. Quite a chilly night as well to come on Sunday, Saturday night into Sunday morning. So in summary then, it's going to be a rather mixed over the next few days with some rain at times, but also we will have to see some brighter spells in between those clouds as well. So that's all from me and let's now on to Jack with this week's weather news. Thank you Ashley. So there's been some unprecedented rainfall recently over southern Europe um, and over the course of the month and as we can see from the headlines they're quite dramatic. So one particular system um, that caused a lot of havoc around France and Italy causing flash flooding was this one um, on the 1st of October into the 2nd and we can see from the visible satellite image the intense uh, thunderstorms around the low pressure system. This formed due to a low pressure forming off the coast of Africa and over the Mediterranean where it gained a lot of energy from those warm sea surface temperatures. And also we had this unusual um, dive in the jet stream, all thanks to a region of high pressure that brought us settled weather during the month. Um, but unfortunately this jet stream allowed for the ascension of that warm rising air and also the deepening of that low pressure system. So this affected regions of France and Italy and we can see that rainfalls totaled over 100 millimetres. In Cannes, they recorded 180 millimetres, and in Nice, they saw 10% um, of their yearly rainfall in just two days. So that rain fell into quite a localised area, very mountainous, and unfortunately that led to flash flooding, and unfortunately 20 people died. So not only has there been flooding in France and Italy, but also in the Balkans this um, month. So in places such as Croatia and Bosnia, uh, in a city called uh, Karlovac, um, the river Kobu um, burst its banks and uh, inundated um, thousands of homes and businesses, affecting 5,000 people. So what is the outlook for the rest of this week? Well, um, unfortunately, it's not looking good. So we have a littering of thunderstorms around this low pressure system in the Mediterranean. This is a satellite image uh, from Wednesday at 7 o'clock UTC. And this system is set to intensify and propagate eastwards which we can see from this graphic here. Heavy rains are going to affect southern Italy, on into Greece, the Balkans, and on into Turkey as well. 
We could see up to maybe 100 millimetres of rain, which falling onto saturated ground could exacerbate the situation. Rain is going to affect the Middle East into Jordan and Saudi Arabia later in the week as well. So, I'm unfortunately not out of the woods just yet for this region, but for more up-to-date weather news, go to our Facebook page and hope to see you again soon. Wedding, you need